What's up? What's up? <clears throat> Just do for the JP in the house. What's up? Anyway, I um, had a crazy dream last night, so here's another one. So anyway, um, I was in bed with my wife and we were sleeping, but this was in my dream, and um. I just, I, I'm not sure. I think I asked her if she wanted to divorce me or something. She said, yeah, or something. When she just said she wanted to divorce me or something like that, I don't know. But then it popped into another scene, and the other scene was, um, um I had walked home, and we were living in, um, I guess we are in the States, and we are living in some, some real nice house, you know. They must have been on the beach or on the mountains or something like that after mountains or something, I don't know where it was, but it was real nice, and it was his other brother there, and he was young, he was about, I don't know, he was young though, uh, I'm thinking maybe 22, 23, but he wasn't, um, I guess he was tall, but not taller than I was, but he was staying young, and I walked in, you know, and in my dream, I was kind of like yoked and stuff. And um, I saw her, and she was, like, really good shape. He was in good shape, you know. All of us were really good shape, you know. And I was like, what's going on? And she was like, oh, you know, I, I want to leave you. I want you to get out of my house and stuff like that, you know. And I'm like, huh? You know, and I was like, who is that? Is that your boyfriend? I had got really angry, and I grabbed him. And I said, "You are you the one messing with my wife? And he wouldn't say anything, you know. And I kept telling him to say something, say something. And he, um, but I knew it was, but he said no or something, and I grabbed him, and I said, no, don't lie, and I knocked him to the ground, but I didn't hit him, I guess I just slammed him to the ground, and I said, you tell me the truth, and uh, he said, no, no, and so I got, man, I took this table, and I just, bam, right on top of him, but what happened was, I thought I hit him in the neck or something, but maybe I, um, I, um, it, I guess the way I he came down on it was, I kind of like tilted so I hit his fingers, and um, and then I heard something. Well, I don't know if I heard anything crack or not, but I know I hit his fingers. He said, ouch. And then when he said, ouch, you know, I got to thinking, wait a minute, you know, I'm wrong, you know. And so I put the table down, I picked him up, and, I, and, and my wife, she had got really upset, you know, because she's in love with him and stuff, or she liked him very much, you know. And I, I, I picked him up, and I said, are you okay? He said, I'm okay. And I just get and I and I said and I just felt real bad, you know, for doing that to another bro a brother, you know, and a young brother at that. And so I just grabbed him, and I held him in my arms, you know, and I just started crying. And I said, you know what? I'm so sorry, God. I don't know what happened to me. I'm sorry. I said, you know what? If you if she likes you and she want to be with you and you want to be with her, then you can have her. It's okay. Um, Cause you know, I didn't even say nothing about I can get another woman or anything like that. I said, just going to be happy. I said, if that's the way, you, if that's what y'all want, that's fine, you know. And he was, he just looked at me. She just looked at me, and um, then my dream popped into another um, scene. And this time, I was um with this other lady, and and uh, she was uh, she was Japanese. Both you know, women are Japanese. She had a nice body and everything. And she has gang of money. I mean, more money than uh, the wife of my dream had, and she just had a gang of money. But she told me that she liked me, and she wasn't really interested in any type of physical love, romance type of relationship or nothing like that. But she liked me being around and stuff like that. But what it was was she was always buying me things, you know. I mean, expensive stuff and put money in the bank and you know giving me cash and stuff and. It was really crazy and stuff. So uh, I was at her house one time, and um, or I guess I must have been living there. I guess I'm not sure. And um, she um, was standing up, and she had these jeans on, nice body. So I just grabbed her, you know, and not grabbed her, grabbed her, you know, just put my arms around her, you know, and uh, we just start kissing and stuff. And but in my dreams, I can't do anything, you know. So most I could do is kiss, but I don't even, I think I can, I can, um, actually, I can see everything, and I can feel everything, but I can't, I mean, I feel everything is touch feel, but, you know, since everything, but I can't do anything, I don't even think I can even kiss in my dreams or something like that, and anyway, um, that happened, and she was like, um, no, she, she didn't change. She kind of changed, but then again, she didn't change. You know, she was a little bit more romantic and stuff. But it was just really weird because 
in my real life, um, you know, some of the, um, you know, I've met a lot of women who really didn't care about anything physical with me. You know, we'd just be together, hang out, but they would always buy me things and do things for me and stuff like that. And I'm like, wow, you know, and it's a trip. And so now, you know, and then after this dream, you know, because I told my wife about that today, and she was like, oh, you got some crazy dreams and stuff. But I got to thinking, you know, it's, it's really interesting because it just happens. That stuff happens just way too much. And I'm not saying I don't hang out with girls and don't have anything. I've never had any physical relationships or anything like that. But, wow, you see that thing over there? It looked like a dinosaur, a little um, lizard or something, a big lizard. But it's a, uh, what you call it? A plant. But anyway, but it's just weird because I know a lot of women in my past who've done that. You know, they didn't care about nothing like that. We just go out, have a good time. They'll spin up everything, buy me gifts and stuff. And it was just weird. And I was just thinking to myself, you know, why is that? You know, I can't really find any romance in my life and stuff, you know, and not that, uh, I needed anything because, uh, I guess having the, uh, well, I don't know, I mean, you want to, I, I was about to say, you know, having uh, material things and not having any romance is good, but I guess it depends on who you are, because basically I, I, I care about any stuff, but if I don't have it, or if it's not there, fine, because, um, you know, I've I've had my ups and downs with women, so just to um, be good friends with them, you know, it's fine. You know, hang out with them, and um, I was thinking the other day too how I used to um, some of these girls I know uh, we get in these intimate, really intimate conversations and stuff. Not between me and the girl, not you know the subjects are me and the girl, but they will tell me about their their um, intimate lives and stuff like that and I remember a few girls who I would talk to and we were uh, I would be laying up in their bed like when I went to Cleveland I was 19 years old uh, it's this store right it was in Cleveland it's down the street from uh, um, the um, Euclid Avenue or something like that where the Crystal Towers is but it's on the main street and the name of the um, store is called Pages and a page or pages or something like that and it was all by a, a black man he had a daughter who was older and a brother who was younger and me and a brother we just didn't get along too much you know it's always, all these, i don't know why these young kids always bother me and stuff you know and so one day me and her was in the, uh his room and her room i think they both share rooms or something like that i don't know how it was but anyway we were in the bed um just talking you know i just laying down you know and he came in, oh, what y'all doing in the bed, da 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 this, and we weren't, you know, he had our clothes on just laying on top of um, the bed, you know, what y'all doing in the bed, and we were just talking, you know, I mean, it's like if we were, like, at the beach or something, like, we just talk, oh, I'm telling daddy, and da 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 we are like, huh, and actually, I didn't know what this guy was talking about, you know, but, you know, later, I kind of think about, it, you know, we was talking about he thought we were having sex or something like that. And I was like, well, you know. I'm like, okay, I don't know. And then um, the father, I guess he did tell his father. And um, I went, to, when I next time I went to the store, his father was like, you know, you and my daughter, da, da, da. And I was like, huh, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, because he was like talking in par parables. Like if he knew, like if I know, knew what he was talking about. But I didn't know what he was talking about. And I was like, huh, you know, I don't even like your daughter. We're just friends, you know, stuff like that. But it was just weird. And then I remember this other time. Um, well, I got off of the subject, but... Oh. Um, and then I remember this other time where um, I, was in, I was in the military. And I was at some base. And I was um, talking to some white girl and stuff. And uh, me and her, every time I go see her, her roommate was there. I don't know if she, she wasn't prejudiced or anything, but her, her friend was. And so we were always in the bed talking and talking and talking. You know, just laying in the bed talking and talking. And she kept saying, why are you always coming in here talking to her? And, and she don't like you and da 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 And the girl got mad at her friend and told her to shut up. But at that time, I was married. But, you know, I just had friends. And I wasn't thinking anything, you know, doing anything. I didn't even touch the girl, nothing, you know. But we used to just sit there, like, almost every night, you know, just in the bed, just talking and stuff, you know. And uh, what happened? Oh, <laughs> one day, 
um, I came out of her room and her boyfriend and seven other, six other guys came up to me. And they walk into me and the guy is like, oh, you, are you always in my girlfriend's room? And I'm like, oh, I didn't know that she got a boyfriend. She didn't tell me or nothing, you know. And we're going to kick your butt. And I looked at them and I laughed, you know, because they're all shorter than me and stuff. But I laughed. And then at that time, I was in the most, I was, I was joking. I was really strong. I wasn't worried about it. And you know, even though my other videos, oh, man, I went over time. Anyway, my other videos always say how, uh, I got to make this, no. Anyway, my other videos always, well, I'm, Oh, I forget. Anyway, in my other videos, I am. Um, um, uh, I was talking about how I don't fight in my own neighborhood, right? One of my other videos. But outside my neighborhoods, people want to fight, I'll throw it out. You know, I'm not scared. I ain't worried about that. But anyway, I just told them, you know, get out of my face. And if they even, you know, come within an arm distance, I'm going to whip all their butts, you know. And they just turned around and walked away. Because I told you, I said, I mean, I mean, that girl, we just talking. I have no interest in her, you know. And I don't know what happened. I don't know who. So if somebody just popped up behind me and them, but they just all in sequence, you know, and just, I mean, at the same time, simultaneously just turned around and stuff. But, yeah, my dreams, though, man, I, I don't know, man. It's like, I don't know if you having these crazy dreams, you know. I mean, some serious, serious crazy stuff. But, yeah, that... That was, and what makes a bad, I woke up this morning and I was like, really, you know, it was like my, um, I don't know, I just felt really bad and stuff, and uh, I think I called my wife and told her, or I, no, no, I told her later and stuff, and I don't know, it's just weird, but you know, I don't know if anything's going to happen in the future, but the whole thing, you know, is I guess I just had to, uh, I don't know, man, it's just... Maybe another phase of my life is about to change, so, so maybe that's why I had it. I don't know if it's with the girls or anything, because it could be something totally different and stuff. I haven't really uh, matched it up yet, but I do know that uh, I I do not I wouldn't ever want to hurt you know any I mean a brother, especially a brother, but anybody because uh, they want to be with some some girl that uh, well this dude is just like right. This, this guy right here is just right. Oh, that's what they do in Japan. You see how they uh, tug it like that? And then they tell you to move over. And they do it all the time. And then if I run up on him, you know, I guess I had to speed up and catch him and stuff. But, but anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. And uh, <laughs> I'm always off the subject, though. But yeah, my dreams, though, they are, they're a trip, though, man. A trip. But yeah, like I said, I wouldn't want to hurt no brother over no girl, no. Uh, anybody here with that girl, like, she wants you to go ahead, you know. Bye.